keep an eye on Joe Harris and Blake Griffin at this point because these are the 20 most unique NBA moments ever. Harden gets it ahead after the turnover. Shovel. Extra feet. Oh, wow. Two nets go down. The question was this head to head. Is Harris moves that way? Damn, that must hurt. But it can't hurt as much as Jordan Poole, who faced a sleeve head-on for number 19. They, they have to foul here. You're up two possessions. Just keep dribbling till the shot clock almost goes to zero. Now Poole is fouled. And the Spurs are going to use a timeout. Yeah, the arm sleeve got knocked down by the foul. Get this thing off of me, and then he slips on it. Watch. Yeep. Now for number 18, we have something truly special. The time Ben Simmons made a three-pointer. Somebody tee that Dan arm sleeve up. Nilakina, a below average three point shooter there. Simmons! Yes! He did it! Gentlemen, here's history. Observe Simmons, such an inspiration. However, number 17 is a disgrace because of the lousy job the referee did. Yeah, I'll ask you a question. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, oh, whoa! <laughs> Can I have to get him first? Come on, Dan. Dan, I'm running. Come on, Dan. You know what? Let's move on, man. You can't just grab his ass like that. LeBron James' demonstration that he was truly an alien was our choice for oddity number 16, so we'll leave it at that. Got the basketball. Look at this pass intended for LeBron. He's got it! Throw it down, King! Oh, did you say this is his 19th year? What a pass by DJ Koo to lead him perfectly. Man, that was strange. But if we're talking strange, we have to bring up number 15 when the 76ers got a little too pumped up for a dump. Damn, get some tissues for the Pelicans. Just picture Joel Embiid and Covington playing tag team. Deander Jordan should also earn some sense. As player number 14, he made the most bizarre last second choice in NBA history. And is standing behind him. Fire at Deandre, get your game face on. Come on, but in any case, how about shock? What was the big man's most unique moment? You're lucky you got it at number 13. Two seconds, the clock reset, Shaquille O'Neal. Unbelievable. Amazing. Having only made one three-pointer in 19 years in the NBA is difficult, for real. But unlike our 12th moment, when what you're about to see is truly amazing, Shaq wasn't built to be making those threes. Williams battles for it with the man Johnson into the hands of Barbosa. Boom, skits it down. The Celtics get it. Uh, no, that's, that's hilarious. That, that will be on every show tonight, no doubt. NBA history's shortest jump ball. It doesn't go well at all. Look at that leaf from Isaiah. Not bad. As for number 11, we have to talk about Ben Simmons. Back when he used to play, he needed to cool off, but he chose to sit in the most expensive seat instead. Reddick, by the way, 13 in the game. Lowry, boy, and Simmons not at all happy with the call. The Sixers as Ben takes an expensive seat. It's in Goldenberg, feeling that he's shown up from Ben Simmons' <laughs> He has a tactical call on him, making him the third sixer to be called. Oh no, we're entering the final 10 on our list, and that was absolutely not worth it. But it made the crowd happy, so it's all okay. The fire is about to ignite now. Leonard had just put up 23 points and 14 rebounds for the Nuggets against the Clippers in the 2020 Western Conference semifinals when Jamal Murray made the decision to head straight for Kawhi, and this incident occurred goodness gracious. With his middle finger, it appeared as though he blocked it. That is incredible. Did you notice how this person outright blocked his shot? For our ninth moment, Blake Griffin pulled off the cleanest no-look block in NBA history. Be sure to watch Griffin here. I swear the only good thing my middle finger does is flip people off. People off. That is incredible. 
he simply executed a 180 degree block without even turning around. With seven tenths of a second left in a 2015 game between the Thunder and Jazz, Westbrook made one of the most inventive buzzers ever. Yes, it's still not as sick as number eight on our list, but this guy is fake. Thunder's last field goal was at the 6.06 mark of the quarter. Westbrook has the buzzer, got it. That could be a little bit of ignition. Oh my, since all we see these days is brick after brick, which is difficult to defend, I miss this version of Westbrook. However, number seven is impossible to defend. The Pelicans came up with the most original strategy to stop the baby-faced assassin during the 2020 season, proving that Steph Curry isn't a one-off talent. Go Steph. These scattered situations. He shot the lights out. The, the Pelicans trying to turn, that's a different way to defend Curry right there, <laughs> is turn power off when the Warriors have the ball. Turning off the power while the Warriors have the ball is a different strategy to protect against Curry than lights out the Pelicans trying to turn. Go dark. Look at the Pelicans lying in the open. LeBron James is such an inspiration to all the other teams, but he's no goat like LeBron James, who was our sixth most unique moment when he chose to make up his own rules. Now open up a 5-11 to 11 lead, another Mountain America Credit Union three-point shot, and $50 to the Huntsman Cancer Foundation. So, to be clear, the referee stood right next to him, observed his double dribbling while traveling, and stated, nope, you're okay to go. LeBron is actually in charge of the NBA's front office, and we just received the coldest game-winning shot in the history of the Eastern Conference. Kadi Leonard performed this in Game 7 of the 2019 NBA Finals with four seconds left on the clock. Gotta be aware of the inbounder here if you're Philly. It's off the Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Mama Mary Joel and B cried after that shoot because it was so chilly. I've got something you've never seen before for our fourth most astonishing moment, when Isaiah Ryder made one of the craziest shots ever. The best Hell Mary I've ever seen has to be this guy, bro. Right now, we're in the top three, so we need to step things up a notch. And as we enter at number three, we have a moment that- oh! Are you serious? Did we just witness two insane buzzer beaters in less than four moments? As absurd as that moment was, our second moment is even more absurd since it involves two NBA GOATs. You see, in the third quarter of the Lakers vs. Kings matchup from 2002, Kobe made this decision. You might be thinking right now that this isn't a unique occasion. But this is when things really shine because exactly 19 years after the slam, LeBron James chose to recreate it in honor of the Black Mamba. Left wide open, had to kick it out, picked off. Here's Bradley ahead of the field, goes to James, and with the first. I'm sorry, that was unique. Kobe, you realize that things simply cannot get any better than this at this point. There is, however, one moment on our list that the Black Mamba makes even better than the other moments put together. When Kobe Bryant faced the Raptors in the 2006 season, he did something extraordinary by scoring 81 points. You have heard that definitely different in the second part. Kobe definitely turned up the heat, but if you don't watch this video now, I'll turn up the heat on you.